Hey, this is Bob Buckley with another Frontline Disc Golf Forum Review. Today we have Marissa on the right, we got Haley King on the left. I'll go ahead and play through the form slowly, and then I'll back it up and do the review. Okay, so my first bullet here, you'll see slow down, speed does not equal distance. This is just something I say to uh, on every form of you. Everybody can afford to slow down at least a little bit. The slower you are, the more easy, well, the more easy, the easier it is to see uh, what mistakes you're making. And if you are making the same mistake during a round or during a tournament, if your walk up is slow, it's easy to figure out that mistake and adjust mid round. Um, Okay, so first thing I'll note is you're pointing the disc at your target, which is fine. However, before you start to walk, I would bring that disc back to center as Haley has it here. What that does is it helps us with our timing. If we're starting here, then we have to come here, back to center, then reach back, and then pull through, and generally more movement leads to more mistakes or more room for mistakes we want to keep least amount of movement possible so that the actions we're doing are repeatable and we can do the same thing over and over again without having to worry about if we uh, had the same angle in the disc or if we did the same motion over and over again so least less movement is better so I'll fast forward a little bit to the second step. Is everything up from here looks good? See where you have the disc right now? That's where the disc should be when you start walking. Haley has it down low. I actually prefer it up by the chest, but whatever. Float your boat. Okay, so the second step of your X step right here. You're landing on your toe and it, your X step is too wide. So what that does is it turns your hips backwards so you're facing away from your target and you're already looking away from your target. As you'll notice here, Haley's X step is very small. She's landing on her toe, but her toe is parallel with the other foot. Her, her foot isn't turned backwards. So her hips are still in line with her target and she's still moving in a linear motion. She's able to keep her eye on the target as long as she can. So we want to reach back with the disc. We don't want to swoop back. So if you notice here, Marissa reaches down and then comes up and then pulls through. If you watch Haley's, Haley kind of, it almost looks like the disc levitates or stays in one spot for a second. Um, and then you'll see that she her arm fully extends and then she pulls through like a slingshot. So I'll go over more of that first, but we'll watch Marissa first. So you'll see Marissa reaches back and then comes up with the disc and then pulls through. If we watch Haley, we're here. What I mean by the disc levitates is so right now, from this point, the disc right here is above the crown and dynamic discs. If you continue to watch, the disc doesn't move from that spot, even though Haley's body is moving. So the disc is still above that crown. And then as Haley gets to her max reach back, that's when the disc starts moving and she pulls it through. So it's not like a, it's not something I want you to focus on while you're throwing, because that can be kind of hard to master. But that comes from doing a proper reach back. So if you get the proper reach back down, you should be able to look back at your uh, form videos and see that happening. Um, so the, you have your left hand on the on your left leg right here, which I like a lot. 
it's really hard to get people to get that left arm down and stay compact through the throw. And that's important because the more compact we're going to be, the faster it allows us to rotate like a figure skater. Figure skaters have their arms out, they rotate slow, and they don't get any added energy, they just compact their arms and they spin faster. So your reach back, as I said before, your reach back is really low. And you do correct it by bringing it up, but that low to high motion often leads to throwing nose up. So the next thing to go over is one of the more common things I see in AM form reviews, or any form review really, I've seen open people do it too, is getting into this power pocket. Haley's a great example of it because she almost over exaggerates it in her throw. So what I'm talking about is right here. You'll see how far out Haley's elbow is from her body. I'm going to draw a line. Her body's here and her elbow is out. I call this a glass window and she's shattering that glass with her elbow. She's breaking the glass. We move forward a little bit with Marissa's form. She gets it out there, but her, her shoulders are already turning. She's already opening up those shoulders. We want to see that elbow out there while her body's here. We want to see that elbow out before the shoulders rotate. And as we come through, you'll see that Marissa's shoulders and arm make about a 90 degree angle as the disc releases, so she's no longer pointing at her target. Haley's almost, when, when she lets go of the target, when the disc starts to come out of her hand, her shoulders aren't all the way turned yet. And the last thing to go over is your weight shift. So as you're as you're coming through onto that plant foot there, you should be shifting all of your weight onto that foot and no weight should be left on this back foot. As we see Haley throw, she is off this back foot and the disc is still in her hand. And Marissa's, we don't see that back foot come off the ground until the follow through. So we want to see that upper body. We want to see that upper body up over that front foot. As you see here, we should be have more weight up on that front planted foot. That's all I got for you. So hopefully it was helpful, hopefully you learn a lot from it, and we'll catch you next time.